thank you for your interest in the Loftness Grain Logic System, the finest grain bag loading system in North America. Be sure to read and understand the operator's manual before operating your GBU. This program does not substitute for the operator's manual. Observe and follow all safety information and safety decals in the owner's manual and on the machine before operating the equipment. Incorrect operation is dangerous and may damage the machine, voiding the warranty. Please also read and understand the grain bagging tips brochure before operating your GBU. Swing the support arm up and insert the pin into the temporary mounting position. Pull out the spring-loaded locking pin to release the roller. Swing the roller into the operating position. Remove the pin and lower the support arm into its original position. Secure the support arm at the base with the pin and retaining clip. Replace the top pin securing the roller in the operating position. To lower the bag cutting knife, remove the lower retaining clip and pin. Using the handle, pivot the bag cutting knife to the operating position and insert the pin and retaining clip into the bottom hole of the bag cutting knife. Note, use the top hole to lower the knife if your bag is flatter. Caution, because the knife is very sharp, be very careful working around the bag cutting knife. Engage the hydraulics on the tractor. Raise the discharge auger fully into the operating position by using the controls on the unloader. Lower the cross augers until they are about three to six inches off the ground depending on the type of grain being bagged. Use the chain height indicator to set the cross auger height before backing the unloader into the bag. The chain height indicator is an easy way to control the cross auger height during bag unloading. Position an operator to stay with the unloader tractor at all times to start and stop the unloader PTO shaft and steer the unloader into the center of the bag. The unloader operator controls the unloading speed by setting the speed control of the bag roller and stops the bag roller when the grain truck or cart is full. The unloader operator also controls the height of the unloader cross auger to get maximum discharge capacity. The grain truck operator or grain cart tractor driver will keep the cart or truck properly positioned under the unloader discharge auger when loading grain and will determine when the truck or cart is properly loaded. Start extracting grain at the end of the bag where the bagging process was finished. Unloading down the slope is the preferred direction for ease of operation. The extra length of bag that was left at the end of the bagging operation makes it easier to wrap the bag around the unloader roller to start the extraction process. Remove the sealed bag end from underneath the grain bag and unroll to expose the 2x4s used to seal the bag. Remove the 3 inch deck screws securing the 2x4s that were sealing the bag. Move the tractor and unloader into position at the end of the grain bag. Center the tractor and unloader on the grain bag. First, make a horizontal cut in the bag approximately 12 inches long towards the top of the bag where the bag is more full but not tight from the weight of the grain. The cut should be slightly off-center around the 11 o'clock position when facing the bag. This cut will then line up with the unloader cutting knife. Note, it is important to make the horizontal cut first before any vertical cuts are made or the bag could keep opening completely from being stretched full of grain. Do not make this first cut into the tight or full part of the bag. Second, make a vertical cut from the first horizontal cut all the way to the end of the bag. This cut will line up with the unloader's bag cutting knife. Note, 
If there is not enough excess grain bag material to attach to the unloader's roller, some grain will need to be extracted manually. Remove enough grain until the bag can be installed onto the roller. Engage the hydraulics on the tractor. Use roller hydraulic control to rotate the roller. Pull the roller control hydraulic handle into the detent position. Rotate the bag roller speed control towards the rabbit indicator to rotate the bag roller faster. Rotate the bag roller until the roller teeth are at the top. Back the tractor and unloader over the cut end of the bag, sliding the bag underneath the cross augers. Back up until the bag end reaches the bag roller teeth. Take the tractor out of gear and put it in neutral with the parking brake off. Wrap the bottom part of the bag evenly and completely over the top roller and secure the bag onto the roller teeth. Note, it's very important that the bag be wrapped over the roller as evenly as possible. Make sure the bag is secured on all the bag roller teeth. Wrap the top flaps of the grain bag over the top roller and secure on the roller teeth. Wind the bag roller about one revolution to ensure that the bag is securely engaged on the bag roller teeth. Move the grain truck or cart into position under the unloader discharge auger. The grain cart or truck needs to maintain adequate distance for maneuvering during the loading process. Note. Make sure the unloader tractor's parking brake is off. Place the tractor in neutral to allow it to move freely back into the bag. Engage the unloader tractor PTO at a slow speed. When the grain is flowing from the discharge auger, gradually increase the PTO speed until it reaches 540 RPM. Pull the bag roller hydraulic control into the detent position. The bag roller will now start to rotate at a slow speed. Adjust the roller speed faster or slower as necessary for the conditions. Rotate towards rabbit for a faster bag speed or towards turtle if a slower bag speed is desired. To engage the optional auxiliary cross auger, pull the control valve. The bag roller pulls the grain bag unloader and tractor into the bag as it is unloading. The bag cutting knife on the grain bag unloader should be in line with the starting cut on the grain bag. Once the extraction has begun and the grain bag unloader is deeper into the bag, be sure that the bag cutting knife is cutting the bag properly. Adjust the roller speed and the roller height to avoid grain buildup by the roller and the lower mound at the bottom of the bag. The cross auger height should be around 3 to 6 inches above the ground. Note, if the tractor and unloader are not steered back into the bag properly, the cross augers may come into contact with the side of the bag. If this should happen, stop unloading and shift the bag roller hydraulic lever to reverse the bag rotation. Pull the unloader ahead to realign the tractor and unloader with the bag. Then continue to unload the bag, keeping the unloader centered in the bag. During normal unloading, the grain level in the bag should be approximately 12 inches below the bag roller height. Move the bag roller hydraulic control lever from detent to the neutral position. This will stop the bag roller rotation. Note. Always stop the bag roller hydraulics before stopping the unloader PTO. This reduces the chance of damaging the bag due to overstretching as you pause the unloading to change trucks or carts. After stopping the bag roller hydraulics, gradually decrease the PTO speed, then turn off the tractor PTO. It is important that when you near the end of the grain bag that you have the unloader centered in the bag. Grain can be unloaded until the cross augers touch the end of the grain bag ceiling boards.
slow the bag roller speed and lower the cross augers during the last three feet of bag unloading to help in getting the maximum emptying of the bag and reduce cleanup. When done unloading the bag, secure the cutting knife by removing the retaining clip and pin. Then using the handle, pivot the bag cutting knife into the storage position and secure it. Note, any remaining grain in the bag will need to be cleaned up by using a loader bucket or grain vacuum. Engage the hydraulics on the tractor. Push the axle lever forward to raise the axle and cross augers to the transport position. Disengage the tractor hydraulics. Open up the bag roller drive door to operate the bag roller clutch. Pull on the bag roller clutch handles to disengage the bag roller clutch and lock it in the open position. The bag roller will move freely now. Note, the bag can spin freely because the clutch cogs are now resting on the inner cogs. Rotate the bag roller and pull off about 10 feet of the grain bag under the cross augers. Drive the tractor slowly forward, unrolling the grain bag until it is fully unrolled off the bag roller. Release the two latches and open the roller drive door. Re-engage the clutch by quickly rotating it in either direction to snap the clutch back into place. Close the clutch housing door. Using the auger lift control, lower the top auger down into its transport position. To switch the roller into the transport position, raise the support arm into the temporary mounting position and insert the pin. Swing the roller into the transport position. The spring-loaded locking pins lock the roller into position. Pull out the pin of the support arm. Swing the support arm into the transport position and lock it into place with both the lower and upper locking pins. Finally, remove the yellow transport plate and install it on the hydraulic axle lift cylinder. QR codes for the Loftness website and the operator's manual are located on each piece of equipment for your convenience. If you have any questions about the Loftness GBU grain bagging system, please visit our website at loftness.com or call 800-828-7624.